What is going on you guys? This is Chris with Patch Boy Dar, Patches for the Culture. And in today's video, we're gonna be adding some Velcro onto this QR code right here. So that way we can put it onto our roller skates. We already have a couple patches already on our roller skates as you can see right here. So what we did was we added Velcro across the entire upper half of the skate. So that way we can add patches on there. The patches, they're in the shape of letters and they spell out the word patch for Patch Boy, of course. So in each letter, we have a different character. We got like the Kanye West bear. We got the last dragon right here with Show Nuff. Uh, we got Kids Next Door number five in that one. We got the Craig, Day Day, and Damien in the letter C. And then the letter H, we got uh, the old ODB, old dirty bastard right there. So this is just my left skate. On the right skate, I just got a, uh, we didn't do Velcro across the entire roller skate. We only did it in that one portion there. So right on there I got my Tyrone Bigums peanut butter and crack sandwich patch. But what I want to do is add a uh, Velcro to this QR code patch right here and slap this right onto my skate. And yes you guys, this is a scannable patch. You can make patches out of QR codes and they will be scannable. You just got to make sure that you have some good quality stitches. This patch itself consists of both tatami stitches and satin stitches, you guys, and it is scannable. I got a decent little collection of Velcro, as you guys can see right here. We use Velcro a lot for some of our custom patches for our customers on Etsy, so we want to make, so we always make sure that we got a good collection of uh, Velcro in stock. So we're going to use this Velcro right here, and we are going to add some of this Velcro onto our patch. The Velcro is not long enough for it to go uh, horizontal like that, so we will have to go vertical. So that way the entire patch can be covered in Velcro. So we'll go like this. I'm going to use my handy dandy Wonder Clips to keep it all in place. Wonder Clips are right here. Go ahead and start clipping it, the patch down onto this Velcro sheet. And then we will cut out the excess right here. just so it's not getting in my way. I'm probably gonna end up starting and finishing in the lower half of the patch. That's usually what I try to do when adding Velcro onto my patches. And for this video, as you can see, I am using my lovely Juki TL18 QVP. All right, you guys, so I have the patch stuck to the Velcro using the Wonder Clips. So that way it keeps it all in place when I actually start stitching. And like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Mainly start in this lower area, maybe midway, and then work my way around the patch. So as you go forward, you want to come forward a couple stitches, then go back stitch. So that way you lock your stitches in place. And also too, if you're making uh, patches that are going to have Velcro on them, it's always helpful to have a nice, uh, a nice size satin stitch border going around the entire patch. So that way you can just stay within the stitching of that satin stitch. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing cranked out. I already got my black thread loaded up and we're just gonna stitch it real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple stitches to start off. Do my back stitches. And now let's go ahead and crank it out. This is pretty easy doing a design that is just a square shape because all you gotta do is just stitch in straight lines. It becomes difficult when you're uh, trying to do a uh, add Velcro to a patch that has multiple different like little shapes, curves and straights. But this is pretty straightforward right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm using just like some regular uh, thread from Coates and Clark. Pick this up at Joann's. Let me go back a little bit. Went too far forward. All right. And now let's add this edge over here. Once I'm done stitching, I'm going to cut off the excess uh, Velcro. Now that we're gonna finish where we started. And of course, we're gonna do a back stitch once we get there. I like to overlap it a little bit. 
overlap those stitches and then do my back stitch. And now let me hit the scissors button on my fancy Juki. And my scissors button will cut the thread. There we have it. All right, so we have the patch here. We got the Velcro stitched on there. If you guys can see it, so let me go ahead and cut the excess. Let me put my wonder clips away and cut this excess off. Yes, indeed, got some Velcro. And for any of you guys wondering, uh, we have started getting into roller skating. It's been a fun little uh, activity for us lately. We've been going a few weeks now. We go once a week. There's literally a skate city, like literally two blocks from our condo. So that's our new favorite pastime. We don't like necessarily going out to clubs dancing anymore. And not only that, but I've gotten too old somewhat to be skateboarding still. Kind of takes a toll on me. But roller skating, I've, I've really been enjoying roller skating, you guys. All right, you guys, so here's the skate I'm gonna be putting the patch on. Notice that my skate is kind of pretty scuffed up already. I need to get a roller skate cover for it. We're gonna replace the peanut butter and crack sandwich patch with my QR code patch. Let's go ahead and take this guy off. Uh, just comes off like so. Move that out to the side. Let's put the QR code patch on there. It is quite larger, but with the Velcro, it should stay in place nicely. Bam. And there we have it. I got the QR code patch on my roller skates. So now if people, as they were skating, they want to stop and scan my code, I'll just pause for a second so they can scan the code and it'll take them to my Etsy shop. Once again, here's my other skate. If you guys can see it, well, in the other angle, this is my other skate right here. It just says patch on it. Got patch right all over there on the skate. Yes, indeed. I am ready for today because I'm actually going skating today. This has been Chris with Patch Boy Dart. Patches for the culture. See you on the next video.